No, firstly, we, we don't know that there are people who will go to court. And you have the second one who say, obviously, maybe you guys know more. <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> I don't think we can answer the question of something that has not happened. <clears throat> but of course, as you say, citizens have the right to go to court. Of course, courts will then, <clears throat> in a sense, take decisions or make judgments if that happens. And once that happens, people then will abide by the decisions of the court. That's what the law says. <clears throat> but since we've raised the matter, I would actually personally, and I'm not stopping anyone who wants to go to court, advise that matters of this nature are better discussed among communities, among families, rather than going to court. Court usually give very hard, cold facts judgments that at times leave bitter taste. Because I'm sure, as I said, we all know facts. It's a question of discussing those matters properly uh, and therefore finding solutions among ourselves. And I've always said, Africans have never failed to find solutions on their problems, no matter how difficult their problems are. <clears throat> but that is not saying those who think they should go to court, they should. This is these are findings that were, were investigated for a long time uh, and therefore facts established and specific recommendations made. With regard to the processes, the second part, I can't give the deadline. I don't think you are dealing with a smaller kind of uh, task if you take the country, the vastness of the country, and the number of those levels that are going to be dealt with is not like fewer ones as the first part. Certainly it's going to be difficult to speculate how long it will take. And I think it should take as long as it is necessary to establish the facts and come with correct facts so that determinations could be made. <clears throat>